All right. All right. All right. What was that? What, what we were talking about? Uh, yeah. So we were talking about how... The... There's... Some guys out there. <laughs> in the world. Boys. Some... Some... People... Some leaders in our world that... Fuck. And people look up to them and, and they... They're not very good leaders, but people are looking up to them. Yeah. Well, because... They're the only people that are really like, talking about it. And are putting themselves out enough. So, you guys like our game. I, I do notice that, yeah, I'm so intrigued by the game and started off, but I do notice that I, I pointed out the other day in the car how it's interesting that, that a lot of people in our world, a lot of leaders that people look up to are... And the, the leaders that, that talk like that, that are like sharing a lot of stories and, you know, they have a lot of videos about them talking about subjects, whatever subjects they talk about. <laughs> that it's really not common for those leaders to be female. Like, usually men. It's always. Yeah. Especially with psychedelics. Especially with psychedelics, yeah. There's no... We haven't heard of any woman that, like, everyone's like, wow. Like, uh, you know, Mary Lou. Like, she really... Mary Lou. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's really like a powerful leader on psychedelic. No, it's like Terrence McKenna, Paul, oh. XYZ, Jerry, <laughs> Bob. It's like, <laughs> where are the female leaders in, in things? I, I do really feel we need female perspective on things like this, especially plant medicines. But the men are. But the men are really using the medis plant medicines. They shouldn't be using medicines to compete, but they are using plant medicines to compete with each other and see who can who can make the strongest fake mushroom <laughs> psilocybin, so who can make the strongest okay. one. Oh. Yeah, so we can fly out of our bodies and and then make anyone else who takes the the mush that mushroom like feel like they're dying and they have to go to the hospital like i don't care about other people i just care about myself and getting my name out there or, or getting people to like me because i made a mushroom in a lap and it's so strong <laughs> crazy yeah they're just they're using such a beautiful and sacred plant medicine they're exploiting it and it really just all lines up and makes sense as to why and how in the manner he died you know a brain tumor it's like oh well, yeah he's not thinking he's not using his brain so they lost him. right and his and the guy that contributed in making the penis envy mushroom which is the lab made mushroom ended up getting shot or something you said right he got shot, he got shot. He got shot. so like well, see there's things like 
you know, if they're such great leaders or such great people, why are these things happening? Nobody just gets shot in the face for no reason. And like a brain tumor is really severe, so... Yeah. Um, and then consistently everybody says that Consistently, everybody says that the mushroom It's a 911 mushroom. Many, many people end up on Yeah. And that doesn't happen with other, with like naturally. I haven't, I haven't been able to find examples of people going to the hospital and on like holding mushroom, any kind of natural. No, the ones, the ones like Penis Envy and stuff, and some of the other stronger ones are that are not natural. Like they paralyze. I was paralyzed on the on the time we took like three. I think it was like three Penis Envy. I don't know how much we took at the time, but I remember I couldn't walk, and it was really difficult to. I just laid in the bed the whole time, and I was like... I didn't really open my eyes the whole time. <laughs> I wasn't having any, any, like, profound experiences, though. I wasn't... Ha there was no, like, insight. The only insight I had was when we... When the mushrooms finally wore off, I was so grateful that I was, like... Alive. I was so happy. <laughs> it was... It was... It was Yeah, and we didn't have anyone else there with us, so it was just us, and we took the same amount. So we were both in it, so there was nobody there to help us through the process. And that was, really cool. and we weren't even at home. We were up in the mountains. <laughs> we were. The address we were at was actually. Yeah, I was really good. Well, I guess the bus, the bus kind of... Yeah. The, the plus side of taking these mushrooms, do you want to play? Mm. Oh, she wants to play. She wants to play. The plus side of taking these kind of mushrooms that are like diesel fuel mushrooms, right? It's just ridiculous shit. Is that... Well, what is the benefit? I guess if you want to completely erode the normal functioning of your brain, then yeah, you should take those mushrooms because you're not going to know... You're not going to understand direction. Like, what is up? What is up? What is that even? What is that? You know, that, so if you want to get on that kind of level where you can't tell if your eyes are open or closed, you even forgot what eyes are. And you want to potentially develop a tumor later in life. I mean, that's great. You should take those kind of, you can, you should do that stuff to yourself. It seems unnatural to me. If you ask me, it seems unnatural. It seems like something yeah. I, sh I shouldn't do. We have a brain. We have a brain right now, you know, as long as you're human, you have a brain. And as long as you're alive, you have a brain. So the fact that people are just trying to like completely go outside of their brain and like detach from it is a red flag. And it makes sense why they would get brain cancer. We... <laughs> they're trying to escape from their brain. We want to integrate with nature and have nature help us. We don't want to isolate, concentrate, maximize in a lab. Then it's not nature anymore. You know? Like, that's the kind of shit they do with stuff like, you know, now with all, like, the, the hash oils and all these hyper, hyper, highly, super concentrated versions of THC. 
that are putting people in the hospital like guys yeah it, you know and it's like the honestly it's like the steroid guys too like who can take the most freaking steroids and look like a blimp yeah it's it just keeps it keeps going farther and farther into like who can do more who can who can be the best but here's the thing. I took five grams. Me and you took five grams of some regular ass mushrooms and we had a prolific experience. Amazing. And it was it was so beautiful that it makes made us want to do it again and again. I mean, that's the kind of experiences you want to have. Yeah. You don't want to be so turned off by the whole experience that you never want to use mushrooms again. And you see them as as like you see them as a bad thing. Yep, absolutely. It, you know, it, it it almost makes me upset. It almost makes me upset that they're being disrespectful to the experience. It's like, bro, did you need to do that anyway? Whatever. Hey, I wonder, I wonder how the audio sounds. Can you guys hear this game? The game is fun. I'm going to check to see if you can hear it. But anyway, yeah, I'm definitely sensing tones of disrespect. That's what I'm sensing. Yeah. Yeah, from people. Oh no, that sounds Anyway, so whatever, but that's fine because you know what? Then we can just we can just have the advantage of being integrated with nature and receiving the messages and the downloads and improving our life. And they can go destroy their brain and, and live in the two hundred and seventh dimension. That's not even relevant to your experience here on Earth. Yeah. <laughs> yep, completely. Like, we're supposed to be using the medicines to help us in this life. Not to take us away from this life. And be be more confused when we get back about what happened. We're like, oh, I don't know. I got so far pulled out of my body. I don't even know what... I don't even know what happened. Yeah, well, here's the thing. When you start... When people start to say things like, I don't know how to explain what happened. That's not good. Like, there's a level of that that's okay. Like, oh, you had a new experience and you're, you're, it's taking you a while to make sense of it. But I'm not, I'm talking about the experiences on these super highly concentrated drugs. Right. It's not even a medicine anymore, dude, because the dose makes the poison, you know? It's a drug, bro. And you can't even process what happened. It's like, that's not useful. You need to be able to process what happened. I can tell you exactly what happened from my trip and what how I made sense of it. Yeah. Yeah, and I feel and I feel that that has significantly improved my life, and I I would like to repeat that experience again, like many many times. Yeah, but if it's improving your life and it makes you feel better, be alive. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't make you feel better to be alive in the way where you're just glad the trip's over. Oh. You're like, oh man, I'm glad I survived that. You know? Because yeah. people do say that too about the no, cra crazy yeah. one. Yeah. They're like, I survived and I feel so much better now that I'm alive. No. No, no, that's how I felt after after we took the penis envy crap. The fake mushroom. I'm not even going to call it real stuff psilocybin because it really isn't it's highly adulterated yeah stuff and then the guy who who tampered with it got shot so. yeah yeah because he's trying to profit off of it of course of course now he's a now he's like a drug dealer he's being a jerk straight up jerk so anyway what are we doing what are we working on why do we want to be tripping on mushrooms? Oh. Oh crap, you gotta fight now. Sorry guys, she's busy. We're um 
Well, we're creating our reality. That's it. And you know what? Our reality is really freaking difficult to create. As is yours. So you need help. We need help. And we don't need help from other people. We need it to... You know how they say it must come from within? So what the what the what the medicine helps with and the fungus like the fungi, which is really the 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 mother and the father of the entire planet of all the of all the species of all the plants of all the animals. It's it all came from the mycelium. The mycelium is like the 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 freaking neural network of the cosmos. It's some interdimensional. It's crazy. If you haven't seen the movie Fantastic Fungi, go go see it. Just learn more about mycelium, it'll blow your mind. But that is literally it coming from within. When you plug back into the natural internet of life, the mycelium, and you remember why you came here and what you actually want to create. You don't need anybody to tell you. Any other human, you know? We just need to plug back into the creator. Like, our, our creatorship. And just do it, man. And just get over it. But I don't know. My argument, I'm still going to argue and say we don't need to blast off into the 2000th dimension. I just don't see how that's relevant. Or, or useful. I'm trying to create... Because what you never... Here's the thing. What I never hear from those people is I never hear them come back with a tangible, clear, and specific goal. Or result. Like, what are you, like, you know what I mean? What is your smart goal, sir? Like, what are you specifically actually creating now in the, in the near future in your life? They can't tell you. It's, it's in, it's indescribable. Yeah, like, what? <laughs> yes, if they, if they can't give you a clear answer on what they discovered about their life right now, what they're doing to improve on that or make it happen, make their dreams come to life then i don't think that was a good medicine journey i don't think that was a medicine journey at all because even the word medicine is supposed to be medicinal yeah you actually you poisoned yourself you took a toxic dose you poisoned yourself and then you survived so that's cool i mean i guess if you want to look at it that way um but anyway on my journey with the actual medicine um i became aware that i am god like literally the guy i'm not saying you're not god i'm saying i became aware that i am and i remembered my powers as a creator that i'm creating all of this and i really got to sit and think about what i want to do what do i actually want to create with my thoughts and you know what i say and what i do um, and it was really beautiful. And it also showed me that I have the power to literally change my body if I want. You know, by holding a thought, holding a belief. Like, if I want my nose to be straighter, I could literally do that if I focused intently on it enough for a long enough period of time. Now, would my nose just magically change and be straight? Probably not. But what does happen is there is a quantum effect where we're all in one mind so and people know this too that when you when you when your subconscious really believes something and it's really it goes to work on it for you and you actually call it fate but if you could become aware of your subconscious and start giving it messages like i want my nose to be straight then all of a sudden it seems like events are just unfolding to get you a new straight nose you know what i mean so so that's really the trick so i might end up in like a in like a plastic surgery room at some point you know because i'm not judging it i have the desire that i want my friggin nose to be straight because i love myself it's not being, it's not self-rejection it's because i actually love myself you know like i want to get really pretty tattoos on my skin because i love my skin it's not because i don't love my skin it's actually an act of self-love you know like, you put clothes on because you love the clothes. Because you love yourself. And it enhances you. It's all the way we think about it, folks. Fucks. Excuse me, folks. So. I just mispronounced folks. 
Um, that's what I learned in the trip, and it was very obviously clear, and it was very beautiful, and you know what? There's some other goodies, too, that came to me on the trip, but, you know, it's a little bit personal, so I don't even talk about it right now. Right here. Just, just the thing about you and two other girls. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. That's just me, personally. I have a, a whole Spanish fantasy about an arrangement, but like a relationship arrangement. But, um, what was yours? What were your takeaways? Some of them. <clears throat> my, my takeaways? Oh, wait, I also had the experience, too, where... Because sometimes I wish I didn't have a penis, because I've had so many problems with women. You know, in my penis. And it was showing me, like, bro, you better be really careful about having those thoughts, because you, your dick really will go away. Like, you'll get testicular cancer or something. But in that... In that portal I was in, I could literally feel my, my genitals, like, disappearing. I was like, this is weird. And I literally felt like... It's kind of gross and weird, but I felt like my intestines and my butt disappearing too. Because these are all parts of my body that I don't like. You know what I mean? Like, I'm in an argument about it. But it was showing me like, hey. I think I really think the message now is like. If you keep hating these parts of you and wanting them to go away, like, you might end up with cancer. And they might actually go away. And then you're gonna need to like shit into out of a tube. Yeah, don't do that. Mm -hmm. It's all thoughts. It's all thoughts and beliefs. So, yeah, I you know, you gotta love yourself, and you gotta love the parts of yourself that you you know you might be having a hard time loving, like your literal actual butt. Okay, they're all parts of ourselves that we wish we didn't have, and. You know, I don't like this, I don't like that, but it's like, the mushrooms just wanted everyone to know. Hey man, you learn to love yourself, you know, because you're really going to regret what will happen if you don't. Well, you know, so, that's all. So it's interesting that Terrence got a tumor in his brain. So clearly he was not loving some part of himself, in his mind, in his brain. Well, that's clear. He kept freaking destroying it with, like, these crazy drugs. It's like, bro, it's not medicine if it's 200 times the potency. That's not medicine. Because I can take morphine in the hospital for a broken leg, but then I can also shoot up, I can shoot up heroin. It's like, okay, heroin, shooting up heroin is not medicinal. Morphine in the hospital because I have a broken leg is medicinal. Anyway, what were your takeaways? <laughs> From what? From what? Your trip. My takeaways were that, well, I was like, <laughs> what did I say? I said every, everything makes sense and there is no war. <laughs> what does that mean? Um, wait, I need to figure out how to do this. Okay. Like, the war is made up in people's mind. It's a belief. Yeah, like, every everyone's like, oh my god, there's, you know, everyone's fighting, everyone, you know, there's this, there's this war, and I was, I was, re I was actually thinking, while I said that, I was thinking about a person that we know that makes the, makes the, that talks about these topics a lot. Yeah, you we're know, we're all gonna die soon. He even has a book with the title. They're in the title is like war, you know. So I don't know. So on the mushrooms, I had this experience that you know that our our minds are powerful, and that what we believe will happen. So if you're talking about war and things like that, or or like people don't know how to make sense of things like then that's what the world's gonna be but around you at least it's gonna be that way well you know i also think and with that particular individual he wants people to be not making sense of things he wants to be the only one making sense yeah yeah 
it's his little it's his little defeater dominator strategy to like feel safe or something and feel in control so um well it's not letting you it says the only thing you can do is drop down that's weird wait oh no there you go Yeah, yo, we got, yeah, I'm saying y'all gotta watch out for gurus. If somebody has been elected to be a representative of anything, I would, I would become suspicious. That's all. I've, I've specifically noticed that specifically with people who other people talk about as being some great person, I would become aware. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. Just immediately become aware. Do not follow the crowd. That is my advice. Myself, really. Because I've met these... I've met these mofos, and I've actually... I dated one of these mofos' wife. I've been real intimate with them. And I, I actually... I worked for another one of these mofos, and I lived in his stupid mansion in Hollywood. These guys are freaking nuts. They're wonky, okay? And they're not practicing what they preach. I'm sorry. Kind of, not kind of, but in that moment, oh my god, hanging from the sky. Anyway, so yeah. I don't know. Nah. You said what? Yeah, it was, it was just powerful in realizing that our minds are powerful and that our thoughts are powerful. I mean, that's pretty much the same experience you had, too. Yeah. Yeah, except in my experience, I was literally experiencing that whatever I would think would start to manifest instantly. So if I thought like the, the, the rabbit that we were cuddling with was going to turn into a human baby, I started to see him turning into a human baby. Yeah. And that was weird. And then what else did I think? I thought my nose was getting straighter and then it, it, it I could feel the bones straighten, which was really uncomfortable, really strange. And my airway started to open up really weird. What else? I thought, um, oh yeah, like my genitals were going away, and then I felt that. That was strange. I didn't feel like, oh, I don't have a butt anymore. <laughs> really weird. Oh, and then I, th and then I felt like I don't have a heart. <gasps> that one was like crazy, yeah, you, weird you, sensation. You had a lot more weird sensations than I did, and we both had the same amount and the same kind, yeah. kind of... Wait, well, because the spirit had a different message for both of us, but... Another one was that you're the goddess, and the Earth needs frickin' CPR. And it needs it from you. From the goddess, from the mother. It actually doesn't need CPR from me. It needs CPR from you. That's why also I get treated like crap from people, because pe they don't need- we don't need men right now. We really don't need men to step up right now. Do you notice how this video game's a girl? Yeah. What's with it? Do you notice that? There's a lot of these girl things coming out lately. Like the the goddess, like coming to save Earth. It's a theme right now. Yeah. Yes. So that happened, and then I was like, okay, you need to save the planet. You healed the rabbit. Now the rabbit's not dead. All right, we had a sick rabbit, but ain't sick no more because she freaking healed it in our mushroom journey. And then, uh, what else? Um, well, you helped me get through the journey with it. Your energy work. That was huge. What else? What else? There was like crazy stuff. Just basic stuff. You, you know, there's no time. There's no space. Things actually do happen instantly. Things do happen instantly, but... But you... You interpret it as not happening instantly. But they actually do happen instantly. It, it has a lot to do with... Where you hold your attention and for how long... You're gonna make everybody throw up, dear. Oh, <laughs> there we go. It has a lot to do with where... Just go up, yeah. 
Yeah, it has a lot to do with where you hold your attention and for how long. But what actually happens on a quantum magnetic level is like as soon as you think something, it happened. You just haven't experienced it yet. It's crazy weird stuff. I know it's strange to understand, but it made a lot of sense to me. Uh, from that space. I was like, this is a trip, bro. It's crazy. And then also, you know, like my parents aren't real. There's no such thing as parents. That's some weird, weird dream. Some weird story that. I made up to trick myself that I was born and also to trick myself that there's there's something to fear like death which also isn't true that's also an illusion bunch of crap just to put myself to sleep because I'm some weirdo I guess nah because you know what there's a purpose to that there's a purpose oh, to being God and putting yourself to sleep now my girlfriend is getting oh, attacked oh my god you want me to do it? Yeah. Okay, here, take the take the mic. <laughs> Hurry! Wait, oh. cover yourself. Just... <laughs> I'm not coordinated when it comes to the buttons and the mouse, so I just drop off of like the side of things and spin around and make people nauseous. You ha you have more experience with. Um, playing video games on the computer and stuff. For me, it's like learning how to walk. <laughs> like, I don't know how to do this quite well yet. Yeah, there's that guy over there. Oh, the birds. Are those bees? Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, dog. Come on, baby. Give me, give me. <laughs> Slow down. Oh, there's a guy over on to your left, too. Oh, there's another one. Look to your left. There's a guy over oh. there. Oh, right there. Wait, I think there's a guy behind you, too. Oh, there's a guy right there. Where? There's someone coming. Oh no, it's the guy in front of you. Someone's throwing something at you. Oh, it's him. He's in the tree over there. Yeah. Alright, right. now what are you gonna do? Just help. So anyway. You can you can swing over to that one. Here, do that guy. Can you rot that one? Oh no, never mind. Someone's shooting at me. Sure. I don't know, look the other way. Oh, up there. <laughs> Dang. Now you can make that thing rot. Goodbye. Thank goodness. Peace. Peace. Wow, that was good. Bye. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> Bye, Felicity. I wish I had the camera set up so you guys could see us, but I don't got the camera set up. Whatever, whatever, but who cares? So that's it. So the world needs goddess energy. It needs it needs CPR. It doesn't need men right now. Men need to shut up and be be respectful. Is what men need to do and just support the goddess. Okay, the goddess says to heal the planet. Yes or no? Yes or no? See, I think we already know this. I think that's why the feminist movement has gone on, even though they've been really angry about it. And that's not the goddess. The goddess is not angry. No. Well, because there, there are a lot of feminists are coming from from a place that is angry. They're not actually sure about what a lot of this this the a lot of the things that they're feeling. They're not actually sure about and how to how to understand and, and like properly articulate like those feelings. So so it's coming out 
as anger right now. But really underneath anger is sadness. With feminism, it's like they're just, they seem to just express the anger part. It's not the sadness. They're not like, I'm sad well, that men and women aren't connected. And they're also not doing the healing work. And they're definitely not like uni unifying with the mycelium network. Mycelium Network in getting access to their real powers as the goddess back, like their energy. Yeah, you really do have to do, you have, you have to come into connection with men and you have to have empathy for men. In order to be a goddess, you cannot hate men. That's not, that's not, that's not a goddess. That's not someone that you want to be around. That's a demon. Yes, that's a devil. Being a freaking brat, but that's okay. Not everyone's a brat. Some some girls really are trying. I don't see it, but they. I'm sure they're out. <laughs> I'm sure they're out there. I've seen a lot of girls marketing themselves on Instagram as being a goddess, but then you go to meet them, and you know. I've been in a relationship with a lot of those girls, and I'm like, yo, you're not what you promote yourself as. I'm sorry. That ain't that ain't. That ain't how it is. That ain't what to do. That ain't how it be. So what's that on the floor there? Figure it out. So it's like it's got butterflies. No, it's got hearts and butterflies. Oops. Hmm. Little things are those little friends I have. Hey, should we? You know, we could just have someone translate this video into a book. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. It'd be a nice short little book, or like a couple chapters or something. Yeah, that'd be fun. That's what, um, what's his name said? The copyright guy. Copy, copywriting guy. Jim Edwards. He's like, yo, actually a lot of people say that. Just get your videos trans transcribed. Just have someone make it into the chapters. Yeah. Yeah, I think that'll be a good idea. Yeah, we're gonna anyway. We're gonna keep journeying for you guys. We're gonna keep going deeper. That was just after what we got all this information out of one journey. Yeah, that was just one, and that yeah. was like our first real, real. heroic dose of oh. of real mushrooms, not fake mushrooms. And actually, wait before I forget. No, another big one that came was that our bunny Zenith, who was dying. He was literally dying like he was not moving on the floor because he has some terminal illness according to the vet but what he what his freaking terminal illness really was which is what i found out on the trip is he just doesn't have enough love he wasn't getting enough love he never did since he was little he was he grew up in some horrible situation in a freaking abusive farm in a freaking wire cage the boy never had any love so his body just broke down over time and i was like I was like, B, B, you have to love. You got, he needs love. He needs your love, you know? And then when you gave that to him, he's he bounced right back, right back to life. But the message was, is like, that's what we all need. Or like, we're all going to be decaying of disease. And we just saw some guy we know, Richard, freaking die of that same disease. He literally said it, remember? Richard? Yeah. He killed himself? Because he said he's tired of being in pain. But then he posted a post and said, Hey guys, like I, I've never been loved properly as a child. I have a lot of issues with that. And like nobody, nobody helped him. So he's like, all right, I'm going to kill myself. Then I, I like, I'm in too much pain. And then everyone was like, okay, we love you. Kill yourself. Uh, they put, they got him on their live Zoom thing and... These are people who claim to be healers and light workers. Yeah. That's and they can't even understand basic things, like basic communication. Like this guy's like, yo, I don't have enough love. I've never had enough love. I'm dying over here. And if you don't help me, I'm going to put myself out of my misery. Nope, nobody could. They couldn't understand the message. They didn't get it. They're like, oh, what? Does, does he have cancer? Oh, I think he has cancer. Oops, that sucks. And it's like, even if he did have cancer, you can still heal him with love. Like, and I'm talking about, like, real energy work. Like, magnet magnetically, it's, it's real. 
y'all if y'all don't know what i'm talking about you know what let's hang out let's kick it and i will show you what i'm talking about what i'm talking about magnets real energy real love none of this fake shit none of you can just say, oh yeah i love you oh yeah happy birthday You know that kind of happy birthday shit? People tell you they love you. <laughs> they really don't. It's true. Whatever. So that was sad. And the world needs you, really. Alright, that's my rant. I think, I think that's it. Was there any other thing? Um... Well, you want to have a baby. You became obsessed with having a child during that journey. Yeah, I kept saying, baby, baby. And I did feel like, you know, we had... We had the sex, remember? Oh, yeah. We can't forget about that part. <laughs> that was the most powerful sex we've ever had. And it was... Well, because I knew you could go deeper. Yeah. And you have this ability, we, we find out you have this ability to actually suck the life force energy out of me, like in a good way. Out of my penis. With your mouth, whatever. With your vagina, with your hands. And that is some good sex. When you're doing the subtle energy part. Right. Mm -hmm. The physical humping sucks. Yeah, the physical stupid. It's like, wow, you know, it makes you realize... Because we've we've had we've had some really beautiful sex, especially when we first met. You know, you made me cry. It was like this beautiful, energetic experience. But we were running off of you know the new kind of energy that we were moving between us, so it was a lot easier to access those states from there. But when you know you've been in a relationship for a long time, like. Well, you know each other, you're connected to each other, so there's not really much, like, there's no, like, this new energy that you guys are experiencing together. Um, so yeah, the mushrooms really brought that out again and helped us connect with each other energetically, and that was really beautiful. And it was like, um, you know, we, how do I describe it? We planted a seed for our baby an energy baby but in the moment when it was happening i it felt like i was actually like wow and i actually even i was like shocked when <laughs> when i came when the when the journey was over and i remember i came over and asked you i was like didn't you i swore that you you know ejaculated in me like we, we we're gonna have a baby like that's what i'm like oh my god we we did that so yeah it was it was really intense well it definitely felt really it felt like an orgasm the whole time because you were actually doing the subtle energy part of sex so it felt great but there were no there wasn't a physical ejaculation but I don't know, because the Gnostics believe that you don't need to physically ejaculate to get pregnant. You only need to do the subtle energy part. And that's another lie about humans. Is that you have to ejaculate to have a baby. So who knows? I don't know, dude. I doubt you're, you're not pregnant, though. You've had a period, right? Oh, since then? Um, since, no, I didn't have, Ooh. but, <laughs> wait, when's your period due? I, I think it's coming up soon. Jeez Louise. No, you're not pregnant. You'd be like sick, right? Um, I mean, I think for the most part, people usually know if they are like, they feel symptoms of some sort. Yeah. But that's not always true. Sometimes you don't know until, especially in the very early stages. That'd be a trip because I did not ejaculate inside of you. 
So that just goes to prove yeah, that. Yeah, that would. <laughs> I mean, that would be cool because I'm not necessarily. Wait. What? That's immaculate conception. That would be immaculate conception. So that would be cool. I mean, I wouldn't. I'm not really. I wouldn't say I'm like, oh wow, I'm like totally ready to have a child right now, but. No, we're not, but... We're not. <laughs> but, but that I, is I, immaculate. I do think that would be really cool to be able to say that that happened. You know? Wow. To really show people that... Okay, I'm about to fight, I think. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. All right, so basically... Yeah, I was so impressed with that because we... T we, you, we we had you like go deeper with your throat and open your throat up and actually receive pull energy out of me with your throat. It was crazy. And you've had this belief that your throat's too small and you can't put anything in there. And you were like working through that. Yeah, I was working through, through that. That was pretty cool. Yeah, so the sexual aspect, just the whole thing was whack, yo. Um, there was so many. I feel like there's more pieces, but... There's just so much. It was jam packed. That's why I'm gonna film the next one. Leave it rolling. Yeah, the concept of three came through for me pretty strongly. Like, three women. I hate to say it, but that's what it is. Three women, you know. And how important it is to actually have the women outnumber the men. We've been talking about this for a long time, though. Yeah. Yeah. Like, three women per one man is, like, a good number of women per men. Yeah. Yeah, three women per each man, I would say, definitely. Because, um... Well, also, if you can't... It, here's the thing, if... I don't even think it's safe for women to be cohabitating with themselves alone and one other man because he can he can physically dominate you. So if you want to think of it that way, it's literally not safe. But if it's you and three other girls, he cannot physically dominate three other people at the same time. It just it stabilizes better because if you think about the way men, you know, Let's just talk about energy in, in terms of energy is like masculine energy is is more. I would say it's it just has a more in, has an intensity to it that. Not that not that feminine energy isn't intense, but. I don't know how to I don't know. I do. Yeah. I know I'm what you're trying, trying to describe it in a way that. It's like if you're trying to put out a fire, you need more water than there is fire. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You don't need less water. You don't even need equal water. I'd bring more water. Yeah. Um. You Women know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Most of you don't even feel safe, even with your own boyfriends. Or if you do, it's temporary until you don't. You know? Yeah. But there's a reason for that. It's because y'all, I, I, I really do think it's because we, you don't. I'm well. Hey, you know what? I'm just gonna say what I think. You're not supposed to be alone with a man. That's it. You're not supposed to be locked away in a house alone with a man. That's just. It's like grounds for abuse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if it's not physically, well, it's going to end up being... You're going to end up feeling mentally dominated by him, emotionally dominated by him. We don't want that. That's not good. You know, it's like, where where, where are your sisters? Like, your chosen sisters, you know, to, like, aid you here. And to help you around... Help you with with the home and... With whatever you're doing, your creative endeavors, like, what, what's going on? Girls have that thing, too. Like, they want to... They naturally want to be with the girls. You know? Guys don't have that as much un unless... Unless we're, like, we're, like, we have a mission or something. Mm -hmm. That's a girl thing. 
you know, feel like you want to be with girls, have girlfriends. What? How many guys are like, I'm going to go out with my guy friends tonight? Like, the what? Yeah. <laughs> Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, so, so, yeah, you just... It doesn't need to be reasonable or rational either. It's just the, it's just a download that I personally received in my trip. It do, other people don't need to agree with it. That's just my life path. I don't I don't need to, like, come up with a, a case for it. It doesn't need to make sense. No. People are just, it's just crazy online how people fight over everything. And I know people talk about this a lot, but. Like I even saw, saw people fighting now about guys who are, you know, in polyamorous relationships, but they, but they have like a only one penis policy. So like the, the women can't go well that's polygamy that's polygamy i actually had the same policy but it's a little it's more le it's more lenient than that i don't want to deal with other men and their energy i'm a fuck no to other guys but see i don't but see what the thing with you is i'm not i don't play games i'm like no this is what it is it's like pretty up front and i have i have the street cred to be able to say this shit because i've dealt with you and thousands of other penises and I'm just like I'm at a point in my life where I'm just done with it. I'm all I'm all set. And I don't I don't need to treat myself that way either. I get to pick and choose the way my fucking life goes. Yeah. So that's it. Yeah. And then yeah, it's it's just wild that <laughs> the way people argue about it. Oh, that's that's uh, misogynistic. No, it's not oh, though. They don't. It, it. What if she wants to do you know X Y Z but. Dear, do you want two boyfriends? No, after I've been knowing the way that men are with each other. I've been intimate with thousands and thousands of men because I've been an escort and a sex worker, so I've been very intimate with many men, and all shapes, sizes, colors, handsome, buff, cute, fat, round, skinny, like black, white, Asian, and I've realized like, no, I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want multiple boyfriends i'd be happy to connect you and i with other couples i think that's great cool. but friends are fun as far as me having like just a single man as a boyfriend like he has no other connections that's just <laughs> weird that is just weird why why doesn't he have any other relationships why would i want to be with a single no man? what he's gonna do is he's gonna spend every waking moment attempting to destroy everything we have that's all he's gonna do that is what men do you are in denial if you think otherwise you are not you are not with it yeah. in reality that is what men do they want to be at the top of their food chain that's what guys do they are the top of their world so if they sense another man is above them in their world that's not okay with them. it's constant fighting you would say that's even true for, say, like a bisexual guy? Well, you know what? With those kind of men, I hate to say it, but unless you're born with an actual brain deformity, then you are in a state of self-rejection. So to the degree that that person is self-rejecting, well, of course, they're going to be, they're going to be not, they're still going to have that impulse to what they do with that impulse is up to them. But it's still there. The energy is still there. So you can deny it. That's fine. Um, I still don't want to be around it though. Even though you're denying it. I'm still going to feel it. That you're, that you, that's what you're doing. Because that's who you are. And it's not wrong. It's not bad. That's the order of nature. That's the math. That's the fucking math of existence. Of consciousness. Folks. There's nothing to argue about. But, like, let's just recognize the order and then just do it. So, you stay over there, sir. I stay over here and we just respect each other. You go get your girls. I'll get my girls and we'll, like, have a cup of tea, okay? Yeah, we'll play a game of 
Um, foosball. Foosball. <laughs> okay, like let's stop being ridiculous. I don't. I'm. I'm not with it with the extremist thing with the extremes. You know, of like everybody has to share everything all the time, including their genitals. No, they don't though. There's an order. There's a magnetic. There's a magnetic polarity. There, there is. Or you wouldn't be here if there wasn't an order. You wouldn't have a body. There'd be nothing to experience. Folks. So yeah. Unfortunately, what we're saying... Unfortunately, what we're saying today is highly controversial. Because there's like all this crazy shit going on right now. Just madness. Just chaos. Absolute anarchy. But not true. Because there are... Uh, because... But, dear, you've also seen the hordes of people who disagree with that. Disagree with sharing at all. Oh. There, yeah, there's those people that don't want to share, period, at all. But they're like, monogamy is the only way, or you're a heathen. Those people exist, too. But it's like, I'm more of the middle way. I Actually, I'm not more of the middle way. I am the middle way. Which is polygamy. You know, you're you're just you're you're setting up you are setting up a home that is magnetically true based on energy. Balancing out, you know, the water and the fire, okay? Balancing out the poles. I don't I don't like that my energy is so big and it's so much that I can just I can just barrel through you. You know, because other people feel that too, and they get scared for you. Because you're with a very powerful man. And they're like, uh, are you sure you're okay? But if it was you and two other women, if it, if it's three, you know, ain't nobody's feeling bad for them. But now what you get, now what you get from most of society is you, you get the looks, you know? Now what you get from most of society is you get you get judged because now, now it's holding up a mirror in front of other people and they're feeling insecure. They're starting to feel something about them. So they start judging you and diagnosing you. But right now, I would say the general consensus is like people meet me and they meet you and they become concerned for you. Usually that's what happens. <laughs> yeah, because I'm a very, like, loud, outspoken, just very powerful man. And people get concerned. Because they're like, well, what happens when he's angry? What happens when, you know what I mean? Like, are you, are you sure you're going to be able to handle that? And it's like, no, you're not going to be able to handle that. That's why you need a community of women. Yeah. And I'm, what I'm saying is I'm making the argument that other women might want to consider the same thing. Right. To, to be in relationship with one man. Yeah. To, to join forces and, and um, cohabitate and focus on one male. Yeah. I, I think the last fucking thing you should do is bring in multiple men. When you can't even handle one on your own. So you think it's a good idea to bring in multiple and have them start fighting with each other too? What are you doing? It's not a good idea. No. And I don't want to hear from the people who are like, Oh, but those men, they should learn how to control themselves. Okay, you know what? I've been in the communities where men, men, you know, they, they promote themselves as like, I'm the most honorable man. But you know what? Behind closed doors, they're all still men. Doing the same shit. And if they're not doing it physically, they're doing it mentally. They're doing it emotionally. Highly, highly manipulative men who are in control of women. It's still happening. Even in the poly shit. You know. I mean, shit. I even see it with the dudes that have, t that have two girlfriends. I still see the manipulative control. Like, he's still in charge. He, he he only becomes out of charge and it becomes equal when there's three.
What do you think? Because when I see dudes promoting that they have two women or whatever, and they're so cool with their two girls, I still see those two girls still being controlled by him. He's still the top kind of dog. I can feel that. You can feel that. That's, it's like the first thing that you feel with the image. I'm telling you, it only takes one more girl. And then you're like... But it, it also depends on the women, you know? But here's the thing, too. I want to say, because obviously you can, you can have a female who's highly masculinized and she's very intimidating. But I'm not talking about highly masculinized women. I'm talking about women being in their natural feminine state. I'm not talking about tomboy girls. Because, yeah, tomboy girls can be scary. But that ain't what I'm talking about. I'm talking about peace and harmony. Letting the man be masculine, letting the women be feminine. I think you need three girls. Yeah, to balance out each other. But to balance out the polarity that's naturally between men and women, it would require at least three women. And... Well, I think after, if you do any more than three, then it's kind of like too many chefs in the kitchen, you know? Yeah. Might start to get kind of whack. Plus, three is a very sacred number, and also there's a saying, too, that says three hearts are one. With the trinity symbol. There's something very magical about three. And Nikola Tesla knew this, too. That's why he said if you can understand the numbers three, six, and nine, you have the keys to the universe. The triangle is the, the, the tetrahedron is the most stable structure in, in space time. You know, the Trinity, three hearts are one. There's a lot of things pointing to three being very stable. That there's a lot of things pointing to the number three being very, the most stable structure in the universe. So if you have, and you know what, this is a hypothesis. I haven't proved this yet, but these are just the downloads that have been coming to me. Just, these are just downloads that have been coming to me. So it's yet it's yet to be um, proven, I guess. Maybe it's just me, just being a narcissistic asshole, and I should just go to jail and hell. Go to jail and hell and hell. <laughs> no. No, I mean that's what society would like you to believe, like most of. Well, I remember also, too, I, I'm not just pulling this out of my ass. I really did have the experience with you and two other of our old friends where we would all spend time together, and it was the most peaceful I'd ever felt in my entire life, being with you and those two other girls in, like, a romantic-ish kind of text context where we were all open to each other. And I was like, this, this is some peace and harmony stuff right here i've never that was like a peak peak experience in my life and we weren't we weren't having sex or anything we were literally just hanging out in the damn bedroom together but we all felt very connected to well we well you know we felt more connected than just being friends like just regular people because we were like doing medicine journeys and stuff together And I remember, I remember this moment when I was sitting there and I was like, you know what? I feel like we're superheroes right now. Like that is the literal actual feeling that I'm having is that we are literal. We're super, we're like super people right now in this moment together. I felt like ultimately empowered by you and those other two girls. And it just felt right. Just something about it just felt really, really right. And I'm pretty sure my subconscious ever since then has been trying to get back to that place. Okay. It was it was a lot of fun and it's unfortunate that it didn't work out. It didn't actually we didn't actually stick together. Even though we were a really great team together, we could have done a lot of things. A lot of what happened was trauma, people in that community 
there was a lot of trauma circulating around and people were taking out their trauma on each other and nobody knew how to deal with it. Nobody knew how to communicate properly. So everyone was like, it was like leading to fights between people's partners and well, that was unnecessary. Well, you know what? Someone just needed to step the F up and just say what it is. See, that's the thing too. Like nobody was really, I don't think anybody was really, um, integrating the wisdom of well really integrating the wisdom of the universe like the mycelium and stuff like that you know they were we weren't like consulting gaia you know what i mean when did we ever consult gaia did you I didn't no I didn't do that I didn't I didn't see our friends do it. no we were thinking we were thinking and what happens when you think is you become afraid you become scared because you're thinking because you think you have to figure it out and you don't you need to consult we, are, we need to consult seek counsel but like not human counsel like from the universe like some avatar shit like this video game okay it's way more magical than we thought. But, um, that was, the, I really see that was like the core problem. Cause like everybody had trauma, you know, has trauma. So the girls, they all, you know, oh, this is wrong. Oh, I shouldn't do this. Oh, 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 oh. And then it just blew up. Yeah. 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 There was, there was like, that's what I said too. It was just trauma, a lot of trauma. And people didn't know how to deal with that trauma. So. It just got to be You know what? We wanted to though. I got some I got some booty in my face, okay? They wanted they wanted to. Don't don't tell me they didn't want to. Why well, yeah, why'd you put why were we doing that shit, huh? Hmm? Hmm? Why were we just about making out in our medicine journey is there, sis? Because you wanted to, that's why. But you're too scared, that's okay. Round two's coming up though. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, I was scared too. I was being a little Ooh, I think we brat. all know what was really going on. And and you wanted, you know, you were in a relationship that was toxic. It was. I was being controlled by the blueberry girl from Willy Wonka. The blueberry. But she, but she was a thirty-nine-year-old woman. She was a she. Wow. Whatever. That's how I got introduced, though, to the other chicks, was because the girl I was dating was lovers with those girls, and, like, it's crazy. Whatever. And then, whatever. But they all broke up now, and it's this crazy fight. I don't know. Who cares? Wama. Wama. But anyway, my world piece, I really do think, is, like, we have our property. We have our $140 million property. We have our castle. It's, like, huge, right? And then our home and our little space with our garden and, like, our peace is, like, you know, it's like the four of us, really. And what the way I see it, though, is, like, you are mostly spending time with them. Like, you have your alone space and you're making clothes and you're doing art. That was weird. And then... And then you're doing art and stuff and doing that shit. And then you guys spend a lot of time together and you, you all charge up together, you know? Because you said you, you would feel great spending time with the girls. And I could I could feel the feminine energy coming off of you. All three of you. Way more than now. I really do feel like the feminine energy has been sucked out of you with, like, all the boys. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's hard when I'm constantly working with guys all the time yeah they do suck the life out of you and that's what guys you see people think it's the other way people think that the men are supposed to come like penetrate the women no 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 the the woman is putting that freaking sucker up there and she's okay. sucking things out of him and she's actually nurturing she's doing it she's nurturing him with goddess energy she's putting energy into him and then she's the one who takes out the sperm. She takes it out and puts it into her. It's See, people think men are supposed to come around and, and jam their shit, you know, into you. And, and penetrate you with stuff. Kind of like whether you like it or not, almost. 
Maybe that's true in some cases if he's actually coming from, like, a good place, but... I don't know. What's my point? My point is, um... Oh, the vision that I had was, like, you're just spending, like, mostly time with your girlfriends. With your sisters. And time by yourself creating. And then, we'll just what whatever's clever. Like, however else we want to do it. We'll probably end up spending the most time together because that's that's just the nature of our relationship. Why why the relationship also works is because these other two women don't really want to be they have they don't want to be smothered by a man. They want their freaking space. You don't work that way. You're like, no, I like spending a lot of time. Yeah. So it like works out. They're, they're the kind of girls who are like, I want my own bed. I you know, I don't want to spend, but I, I'd like to sleep over sometimes and like, that's nice. Right. But I'm going to go home and like do my own thing, go to my own bed. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they'll be. You think they'll be just girls that don't want to like. They don't, they're like, no, I don't want to, like, be in that kind of relationship. No, I think that because I'm having the thought, they exist. Oh. What do you mean? Because I'm, because that this, because that we're thinking this right now, that means that there are other, there are, this, are two girls somewhere right now thinking the same thing. Yeah. But are you, are you saying like these kind of girls are girls that like don't they don't want to like get married? I don't. I think they want whatever summer whatever the the light version of. S. Let's call her Jane. Let's call her Janice. Whatever whatever Janice wanted. Remember. Did she want to get married? No, but she wanted to be included and have like a ceremony. Yeah. But I mean, I think the whole institution and concept of marriage is defunct and it's it's broken. So what? Hmm. If it was if I mean, honestly, if I could you know if we could just rip out all the old parts of our brain and just redo the whole damn thing, I would create a wed wedding, wedding ring that has three rings on it. Mm. I, I guess technically four. I would just do the whole damn thing over. And you can do whatever the fuck you want. Like, if this girl here, why can't she do whatever works for her? But I don't, I don't really know. And that's something that you'll have to sit and think about too. Because we don't know. I don't know what works for you. I don't know what, you don't even know what works for you. You don't even know what your ideal thing is. Mm -hmm. I do know because I watched you that you enjoy having very close sisters. You really like that idea. You like that concept. And you like being sexually open and available with your sisters. You guys love being in your underwear and stuff. And doing all that kind of witchy stuff. And you do like to share men. Mm -hmm. Those are all themes that I've already seen you do. Right. Yeah, I, I don't like it when, you know, there's times where I don't want to do things like... I just kind of want to, oh, I want to do art, but you want to have sex, or you want to do something like that. And I'm like, well, now I feel bad because I don't do that with you right in this second, that you want to do it. Uh -huh. But yeah, that, that would be nice to have other girls around, and like then maybe one of the other girls does want to. Do that. Yeah, and the way I saw it, too was like you guys can have 
other where you will it's not like i'm telling you what you can and can't do i'm telling me what i do and don't want and if other people want to come play they can but if they don't they can go somewhere else but what i saw was um like you guys are helping other men wake the fuck up and that's great but you're not having a serious sexual relationship with them because i'm just a hell no to it and honestly the women that i want around are women who are going to be like thank you for saying that because i don't want a fucking sexual relationship with other men either i'm done yeah i want one man who gets it and i want my goddamn sisters and i want my art and i want my space yeah. Yeah, because it's, it's hard dealing with multiple men and, like, men that want to constantly, like, need your attention. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing wrong with having other people you serve. And if you want to do that, and maybe you don't even want to do that. Maybe by the time we get to the property, you're like, you know what? I'm, I'm just done with the whole thing with guys. Yeah. I've had it. Well, I'm going into art land. Yeah, I'm going into creating land. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I do want it to be, at some point, be about me and, and having, like, having the things yeah. that I want. And then when you actually have a genuine desire for masculine energy, I'll be right there. Mm -hmm. How's that? You ain't even gonna see me until you actually desire it. I'd much rather that, you know? Right. Than this weird shit. So, all right, love me, hate me, folks. <laughs> Thumbs down the video, report it, comment. Crazy narcissists on the loose. Whatever. It's happening whether you want it to or not, folks. Guess what? At some point in the near future, you're going to poop, whether you like it or not. i poop. Yep. You brat. But I, I know I know you're kind of timid about it, though, dear, because you saw other people fight really bad. Like, attempting to do a similar thing. Most people fight a lot. But most people fight no matter what, yeah. But we also saw the mistakes they were making, too, and how they were being... How, like, their ego was getting in the way. Right. Yeah, that was just pretty people and I don't know, I really don't know why they were fighting, like it seemed it seemed like really the reason why they were fighting is because everyone wanted to be in control. Like they were they were just power hungry. Everyone wanted to be in control of the other person. Yes. So when, when, as soon as they felt like they didn't have control over one of the other people, then they would start fighting. Yeah, but it was like out of control. It was like, do what I say. It wasn't even like they had an arrangement and an agreement to honor the sanctity of their relationship. It was like, straight up, you have to do everything I tell you. Like, be here at this time, do this, say this. Like, really crazy. Yeah. Yeah, really crazy. Yeah, it was it was so controlling that we had to leave. That's why we left. We had to leave because it was like, whoa, this is not healthy. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. Are you done? Okay. I feel like that's enough for people to hate us. <laughs> Alright. Peace. Enough. Love you. Wait. Love.